Hey, Syed here. I want to show you how easy it is to develop a Chrome extension with Visual Studio and Sidewaffle. I've got Visual Studio 2013 with Sidewaffle installed. Um, after I do File, New Project, um, under the web node we see Sidewaffle here. Um, under these other nodes there's also Sidewaffle showing up. Uh, we'll stick in the web node for now. Uh, I can see now I've got a Google Chrome extension project template as well as a couple other project templates uh, that were contributed by the community. Let me go ahead and create a new uh, Chrome extension project here. Uh, this default template is based off the getting started guide um, for Chrome. Um, the layout here is we have an app folder. Uh, inside this folder, uh, this is the file that your extension are consisting of. Um, everything else is just kind of metadata associated with the project. Um, if I were to build this and then take a look at the output window, uh, you can see that none of the normal build steps were performed, uh, but a zip file was generated for me in the bin folder. Let's take a look at that. So if I open up this uh, bin folder, I can see I've got my zip file. Um, this is the the zip file of the extension that you would go ahead and take and upload to the, uh, the Chrome gallery here. All right, uh, one thing that would be really cool if I would be able to, you know, develop my extension inside Visual Studio uh, Control F5 and then have the extension uh, loaded in Chrome so that way I can go ahead and party on it. Um, I We have actually figured out how to do this. Um, it's kind of a part of a build extension here. So let me go ahead and build this project one time. Uh, we do have kind of a workaround that's required right now as well. You have to actually close the project at least once and reopen it. Um, you just have to do this one time. After you do that, uh, you can go ahead and control F5, and this will launch Chrome with that particular extension loaded. Uh, let me go ahead and drop down on my extensions. You can see I've got the one-click kittens. I can go ahead and invoke that. And now it's making a call out to get some kitten-related images. So we'll take a look at the result when it comes back. All right, so now the uh, kittens query has returned, and now we can see our uh, cats here. All right, let me go back to uh, Visual Studio and go ahead and open up the app here. Uh, we can see we've got the uh, full colorization inside uh, JS files. Uh, we also get the, the full IntelliSense here as well. Uh, let's make a couple of changes here. Let me do, instead of kittens, I'll do puppies. And then I'll just go back to the HTML. Just add some uh, background color here so it's obvious uh, this loop that's happening. And then I'll go ahead and control F5. Now our updated uh, template should be loaded here. And let's take a look at the result. All right, so instead of seeing um, a white background with puppies, we see a red, uh, instead of seeing a white background with kittens, uh, now I see a red background with puppies here. Uh, let me go ahead and close out of this and launch Chrome manually uh, without Visual Studio. If I were to do this and then take a look at the extensions that were loaded, uh, you'll see I wouldn't see the, uh, the one-click kittens which I was developing there. Um, that's because when you control F5, we'll go ahead and launch uh, Chrome.exe with that one particular extension loaded. All right, well, this is how you can develop uh, Google Chrome extensions with Visual Studio and Sidewaffle. Thank you.